but uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, uh, uh, because I was asked to talk about the impact, the economic impact of what uh, can happen if immigration re reform is uh, uh, passed by Congress. I'm not an economist, but I will try to give you some numbers. Uh, basically, this uh, proposal in Congress, what it's trying to do is to increase the number of uh, visas that are available for people to come legally to the United States, but also is going to try to provide a uh, pass to legal status for the more than 11 million undocumented Im immigrants that are already here in the United States. Uh, all these immigrants are going to be coming part of the workforce, and they will enter the workforce uh, at many different, uh, you know, uh, levels. You know, some of them are high skilled workers that are going to be working at the medical center. You know, uh, oil companies, uh, universities, colleges, uh, uh, you name it. Uh, but also we have the low skilled workers. That's a workforce that is already contributing to a local economy like Houston, the state and the nation. And uh, both of these groups uh, will uh, really are going to continue to help the economy in the United States. Houston is a city that hasn't suffered that much because of the um, a downturn in the economy. And one of the reasons is because we have a lot of uh, immigrant labor here. Uh, and uh, most of the things uh, here compared to other cities are cheaper. You know, if you talk about housing, a lot of the unskilled immigrants laborers are the ones that are building the housing here. And it's cheaper than many other cities because, uh, uh, you know, they are paid the minimum wage, sometimes even less. <laughs> so uh, that's that's some of the things that uh, are very important to realize and to take into account when, when we are talking about uh, this issue. Uh, sometimes this gets lost in all the debate, you know, of uh, what what it means to be an immigrant, or what are the contributions that immigrants are making already to uh, the economy of a city like Houston, the state, and the nation. Um, According to a report by the Institute, Institute of Taxation and Economic Policy, an estimated 11.2 million undocumented water, workers paid around 10.6 billion in 2010 in tax contributions. And this varies state by state. For, for example, in Montana, they paid 2 million in taxes. In California and Texas, they paid more than 1.6 billion in taxes. So it's a lot of money there. We are talking about a lot of money. But if these workers are legalized, uh, they can uh, contribute a lot more than what they are already doing uh, in different ways. One, because uh, they will be able to um, uh, report their income tax without being afraid that uh, you know the government is going to uh, know who they are and then they are going to be deported. Uh, they are going to create their own business because many of them are uh, entrepreneurs. They are going to create their small businesses. Many of them also are going to try to uh, better their, uh, you know, uh, situation by trying to go to, to school, to go to college. Uh, so that's some other ways also that uh, if uh, immigration reform passes can uh, help not only the people individually that are going to be benefited, but the economy uh, as a whole for everybody, and especially in a city um, like Houston. Um, now, uh, uh, this month, uh, you know, Mayor Anise Parker is uh, a strong supporter of uh, diversity, and uh, because we are an international city, uh, Houston is an international city. And uh, she supports uh, very much this effort that we are trying to do. Citizenship Month is about celebrating the many faces of Houston, the contributions that uh, everybody brings to Houston. Uh, it could be somebody that is coming from Vietnam, from Cambodia, from Sudan, from uh, Eritrea, or from Latin America. 
for people that also are coming here from other states, from other cities. So this is what Citizenship Month is about. Uh, and also uh, it's about other contributions that uh, immigrants and refugees uh, bring to the city. That sometimes it's difficult to put uh, a, a dollar figure on that, but it's cultural contributions, you know. We have the fortune to live in this city in Houston and we can go in and enjoy and learn about other people, other cultures uh, from all over the world. Uh, and this, is, this has uh, a, a big value and, and it helps a lot uh, a city like Houston to continue to be a vibrant city uh, and to continue to, to grow uh, and strengthen their economy. So that's, that's all what I wanted to just point out. I know that uh, many of you may have some questions and maybe we can you know, talk a little bit more tomorrow. We'd like to open